So my most popular series on my channel is easily the Minecraft Ultimate roster reviews, where I give my thoughts on the teams and I say who I think will do well and who won't. Since Minecraft Championship is coming up, I decided to make this video also going over who I think will win the tournament. However, there is one small problem with that. I have never actually watched a Minecraft Championship from start to finish. I watched a little bit of the last one, but I got bored halfway through and stopped watching. This means that I am not the most reputable source because not only do I not know who a lot of these people are, I haven't even seen the tournament they are playing. However, I have come up with a way to accurately tell which teams will do well and which teams won't through the power of math. Unlike Minecraft Ultimate, Minecraft Championship uses a point system where players try to earn the most points for their teams. This means that whoever gets the most points on average will most likely do well in the next tournament. But since there are 4 people on a team in Minecraft Championship, I need to find the entire team's average points per game. Then I sorted those teams from least average points to most, and I made this ranking. Keep in mind that just because the players have gotten these points on average before doesn't necessarily mean they'll get these exact points again. For example, if someone gets DDoS and they can only play the first two games, they will clearly drop their point total below average. That's an extreme example, but it's to show that things can happen that can make someone get way above or below their average. My ranking is not a guarantee that they will do well. Also, there are three players who haven't played in this tournament before, but we will get there when we get there. It is also possible that I made a mistake when calculating the point totals, and that the place where I got all my numbers, the Minecraft Championship Wiki, is wrong. In that case, I apologize and I will put any corrections in the pinned comment on this video. As an example, I made this fake team in MS Paint. The number under each player's name means how many points they average per game. If there is an A under someone's name, like there is for Pokemon, that means they haven't played before so they don't have an average points per game. To find the average points per player, I add up all the average individual players' points, ignoring any player who has an NA under their name. So in this case, it would be 23 plus 2,596 plus 702,503. Then I divide that number by how many players on that team have an average points per game. So in this case, it would be 3. Me, Leafy, and Big Shrimpin. In this case, Team Clap and Drake's average is 235,040.67 points per player. Now let's get on with the ranking. Starting off with the lowest ranked team, we have the Orange Ocelots. This team consists of Shubble, Strawberry, Rip, Mika, and Joey Graceffa. This team's average point total is 1,498.33 points per player, with their best player being Shubble and the worst being Joey Graceffa. Rip Mika hasn't played before, so while that might affect if this team does good or not, I don't think it will, as from what I could tell. Rip Mika is the same skill level as the other players on her team. Next we have the Yellow Yaks. This is the Hermitcraft team, and it consists of Pearlescent Moon, Clubfan135, Rendog, and False Symmetry. They have an average of 1714.25 points per player, with their best player being False and their worst player being Clubfan. I don't think this team is expected to do well since they're made up of Hermitcraft members only, so this shouldn't surprise anyone that they're pretty low on the ranking. Next, we actually have the Purple Pandas. This team consists of Fundy, Kronios, Karakorvis, and Sylvie. They have an average of 2,137 points per player, and their best player is Fundy, while their worst player is Sylvie. Some people might think this team is better than what the math shows because they have two really good players in Fundy and Kronios, but from what the math is telling me, I do not think they will do well. Next, we get to the Blue Bats. This team consists of Calvin, CPK, Mini Muka and SB737. Their average points per player is 2,212, and their best player is Calvin, while their worst player is Mini Muka. Like Orange Ocelots, a player on this team hasn't played before, and that is SB737. While SB could surprise me and turn out to be a PvP and parkour god, from what I could tell, I do not think that is the case, and I do not think this team will do that well. Next in the middle tier of teams, we have the Lime Llamas. This team consists of Pizza Hut, Catherine Elizabeth, In the Littlewood, and Solidarity Gaming. This team averages 2,323.5 points per player, and their best player is Pizza Hut, and their worst player is Catherine Elizabeth. Pete is actually the best player on this team by 1,200 points, so if this team wants to succeed, Pete is going to have to carry them on their back. The next mid tier team we have is the Cyan Creepers, which consists of Mephs, Tapo, Captain Sparkles, and Captain Puffy. This team's average points per person is 2,399, and their best player is Mephs, and their worst player is Captain Puffy. 
This is actually the only team I think will do better than the tier I put them in based on the math I did. This Tabo is pretty good in Minecraft and could easily drive this team's average points up quite a bit. The last mid tier team we have is the Aqua Axolotls, who are Quig, Fail Whip, Smallish Beans, and H Bomb. This team's average points per person is 2,407, and their best player is Quig, while their worst player is Smallish Beans. I think this team will actually do as well as the Cyan Creepers, because this team is only ahead of their average point total by 8 points. And since Tabel is a pretty good player who could raise the Cyan Creepers' average points above the Aqua Axolotls. Now we get to the teams in the top tier, starting off with the Red Rabbits. This team consists of Filza, Wilbur Suit, S Major, and Tommy Innit. Their average points per person is 2,464.5, and their best player is Tommy, while their worst player is Wilbur. This team will probably do pretty good, as they are one of two teams where every player's average points per game is over 2,000, and all of them have won before. The team the math put in second place is the Green Guardians, which consists of Sapnap, George Not Found, Curtsy, and the Eric. This team's average points per player is 2,475, just 10 above the Red Rabbits, with their best player being Sapnap and their worst player being the Eric. It is possible that the Red Rabbits could beat this team if the Rabbits get slightly above average points, or if Green Guardians get slightly below average points. But I do not think it is that likely, considering that their only weakness is the Arid, who has 700 points below George Not Found. And since the rest of his team is good, he could get above average points by being carried. Finally, we get to the team the mass that will get the most points. You probably should have seen this coming, but the team that is number one is the Pink Parrots, which consists of Dream, Technoblade, King Burn, and Michael McShill. Their average points per player is 2,703, which is 250 points above the Green Guardian's average points per player, with Dream as their best player and Michael as their worst player. I think this team will definitely get the most points, as they have two out of the four players who average over 3,000 points on their team. And Burn and Michael McChill are nowhere near the worst players in the tournament. I also know that Techno and Dream train a lot for this event, and that they will easily take over the Decision Dome, which means this team is even more likely to win. So that is what my math said would be the best and worst teams. However, Minecraft Championship is more than just who gets the most points. The last game they play is Dodgeball, where the top two teams face off against each other in a Minecraft version of Dodgeball. Whoever wins this game wins the tournament. While this game doesn't earn you any points, we can still find the winner of this game using math. The teams I used for this were the Pink Parrots and the Green Guardians, as they were the teams the math had in first and second, and the teams that would be competing in Dodgebolt if this prediction is correct. At first, I tried to use probability, but that didn't work out, as the players on Pink Parrots had won Dodgebolt 3 out of a collective 6 appearances, and the Green Guardians have won Dodgebolt 2 out of a collective 4 appearances, which means both teams' average win rate is 50%. So then I just used addition. The players on Pink Parrots have won Dodgebolt a collective 3 times, while the players on Green Guardians have won Dodgebolt a collective 2 times. Furthermore, 3 out of the 4 players on Pink Parrots have been in a Dodgebolt game, while only 2 out of the 4 players on Green Guardians have. This means that Pink Parrots has more experience winning in this game, so that means they are more likely to win. In conclusion, using math, I have deduced that the team most likely to get the most points and win Dodgebolt is the Pink Parrots. I don't think this is a shocker to anyone watching this video. As I have said earlier, Dream and Technoblade are two of the four players in Minecraft Championship who average 3,000 points per game. They also train extensively for this tournament. If you liked this video, remember to like and subscribe for more content. I'm currently working on my next documentary, which will be similar to the JD Odrin video a while back. I also plan on streaming on Twitch soon, so go follow me there. I will see you in the next video.